if you look at uh, cloud computing, uh, it's really a boon because uh, uh, it comes as in operating systems level and platform levels and software as service levels. But uh, looking at the business imperatives, companies like us, uh, we need to really critically examine the facilities available today in India with respect to how we we'll adapt this technology. Uh, if you look at the mission critical and highly confidential applications, uh, uh, as on today, the technology is yet to mature. For example, we need to have a certain service level agreements. We need to ensure that our data is confidential, our data is secured. But also, we need to have proper response times in terms of the bandwidth. Because it's not only we are talking about the customers at metros, we are talking about the customers at northeast states. We are talking about the customers at Port Blade. So, when you want to put an application in a cloud, uh, these three aspects are very, very important. So when you look at uh, today's technology levels, the way the technology is getting matured, uh, we will really looking into adopting this technology for our semi-critical applications, especially using the private cloud, so that the risk associated with security, risk associated with performance, risk associated with integrity of the data is minimum. That's the way uh, we look at the cloud computing is concerned. If I look at the way today, as at Indian Oil, we, we are one of the largest uh, companies, though we are company, single company, internally we operate uh, like something like uh, 52 different companies. Once we uh, establish a major ERP applications, practically we are adopting a private cloud inside the company. Because we have the customers all across India, we also have an internal employees all across India. They are trying to access an application which is centrally host hosted, centrally managed without knowing the intricacy of the technology. And you extend the same concept across the cloud, uh, that's going to be a really popular hit of today. We also look for a niche area where our R&D, our research and development looks for the high computing facilities where uh, it's very difficult to anticipate the requirement in terms of CPU, in terms of your platform, in terms of hardware capabilities. We can always uh, look for uh, the cloud computing concepts. That's when one area is interesting. We are really looking at the aspects where we can use the high power computing through cloud for using a specialized to research and development requirement. That's what we are looking at the cloud computing as a whole. Indian Oil is looking uh, very critically the latest wireless uh, uh, technology, uh, especially dot 11N, which has been recently been made uh, legitimate. Uh, if you really look at that uh, network technology, uh, we are getting merged with wireless with Y technologies. So there is a fundamental lot of difference. For example, when you talk about a local area network, we are able to give a sustained bandwidth of 1 Mbps. Absolutely, there is no convention problem. There is no interference problem. Whereas when you go in wireless technologies, there is always a problem with convention because it's off-duplex uh, uh, transmissions, depending on the radio signals, depending on the type of technology of radio. But still, the technology requirements are immense for the companies like us. Because more and more mobile devices are being used, more and more mobile applications are getting done, more and more the point of sale applications are coming, where to create a wired network may be some places practically impossible. So there comes the advantage of uh, wireless network. But when you go on wireless technology, we also we need to look into the critical aspects of security. As you are aware that uh, wireless technologies are only maybe related to a network level security is where something possible to intrusion production devices. Whereas when you go for wireless technologies, there is a possibility of denial of service. There is a possibility of uh, in your network and MAC level intrusions. Uh, those things are going to be a really a challenge. But the way this security technology is evolving, especially the last uh, couple of months, we are confident uh, using something like a WAP2, we will be able to overcome. The most important thing is we will be able to change the network, we will be able to add the network, we will be able to update the network with a very uh, fraction of the time compared to wired network. There why the power of wireless technology comes. We would like to leverage it for the benefit of our internal employees as well as customers. For example, you take something like uh, training centers. 
where we need to put uh, hundreds of uh, PCs and uh, start importing uh, technology training the employees. It's, uh, it's, it takes a lot of time to establish a wide network. So we can do it with a fraction of the time we'll be able to uh, establish a network. Then the points of uh, sales applications, where you want to swipe maybe a credit card or maybe our own royalty cards. At that point of time, we don't need to depend on a wide network. We can use a wireless technologies. We can even have uh, mobile applications which will have you seamlessly come across across the places. These are the major applications we are really looking for wireless technologies. Indian Oil is one of the largest uh, implementer of uh, ERP, uh, namely SAP. We are rolled to more than about 780 locations. The primary objective of an ERP implementation is to capture the data on real-time basis, basically in transaction processing. Uh, our, our aspect is not only capture the data, but also leverage the data to convert the data into information, information to knowledge, knowledge to benefits and wealth of the company. There we are going big way in business analytics. The BA technologies, which is on different platforms, we are evaluating it. So depending on the segments we are concentrating the amount that we are trying to do that. For example, we have about 10 refineries. We have more than 30,000 customer touch points. We have more than about 168 uh, large terminals. But in order to have the supply chain visibility, how much will be the crude stock east coast, how much my crude stock in west coast, how much my products are available at the different locations, how many days stocks we are having in that, what crude is being processed in which refinery, whatever product is coming from which refineries, what is the quality profile of that. These things will be visible across the company in a single dashboard which can be leveraged by the top management. That's a project. That means we are able to connect from process control room to boardroom through various technology at a single user interface with something called a operated, operating dashboard. That's a concept we are working which we really being proud to use one of the latest technologies to get the benefit out of this.